welcome back folks to more Let's Play Swords and Sandals Medieval. In the last episode, we competed in a couple of strongman competitions from the look of it, and again tried to steal something. You'd think that after so long they'd just... You know, that guy wouldn't let us anywhere near the armory. You'd think that, but no, apparently not. He's very forgiving. Anyway, let's do some more battles. Ooh, some more gold, very nice. As we get to level 16 for tournament number 5... Sir Arjun Brown is our next opponent. This is late morning. He's lobbed a Roman candle at us. How dare you! Take that. Hang on, have I got... I'm just checking here. Okay, maybe I can't check it. Oh, well. That's fine. I don't even know what damage you did last time. Maybe it... Oh, no you don't. I'm not letting you get away with that, mate. No, you're not smiting me. In fact, I might just smite you. I missed. Oh, you git! You just stayed there, did you? Oh, can I get it off? Oh, oh. Apparently, I can't. Sod you. Oh no, I probably could have. I think it was there. Damn. All right, <laughs> we're not doing anything, are we? Okay. I'll just sleep then. I'll sleep it off. Oi! Stop that. You missed, by the way. Okay, it does work. Ah, you sod! And I missed a... Sod you, smite. Can't be arsed with you. Don't kick. Don't ki kick me. Don't kiss me. You don't know where I've been. Stop it. Have that. Come on, Arjun. Damn, you're taking a long time to die. You're stabbing me in the head. Stop it. Our stamina is... Our stamina uh, regen and everything is actually pretty good. I will say that much. Alright, you're gone. One star for that. I'm not surprised. Alright, level up. Lovely. And we have been promoted to Realm Knight Sergeant. We can now carry three items into battle. Very nice. I'm getting a strength point, and I'm getting a couple of agility points too. Right, quest time. Please don't remove my strength. Uh. Oh, it's the Jester one again. Uh, yeah, I'll just shoot him away. There you go. Uh, I make my own luck, you scowl. The jester shrugs and moves to the next table. You return to your meal. Later in the night, the jester tries to ruin your dinner by throwing fireworks at you. They do not explode, and you pocket them before throwing the scoundrel out of the tavern and into the mud. Our luck is increased by two, and we, rece we received five jumping jacks, which are a type of firework. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And we spent a whole month in the town. Probably not a good thing, but we spent a whole month in the town. Alright, what would I like to add in? Oh wow, jumping jacks cause uh, 80 damage. Yeah, we're bringing them in, I think. <clears throat> 80 damage? 80 damage is 80 damage after all. Alright, let's go to our weapons, since we can now get a new axe. The Roman axe. 41 damage per hit. And it costs 12,300 gold. I'll definitely take that, thank you very much. I've spent 100,000 gold, apparently, so yay. Right, time to nick stuff from this guy. Steal! I have luck points. Yes! I stole it! Can we make it two in a row? Two in a row on stealing! Yes! I stole that as well! Screw you! And I and can you please repair my armor? <laughs> Thank you. Right, <laughs> be more careful out there. As should you, mate! You definitely should, because I just stole about... Probably like 30 grand's worth of stuff. <sighs> that works pretty well. That's what I'm going to use my luck for. Just to try and get those rolls. The luck of those rolls a bit high. And we gain two agility. Very nice. I have washed some dishes in the tavern. I thought I'd be paid in beer. I was disappointed. So Pablo Kutsenov is our next opponent. He's already level 16. Why aren't you in the tournament? He has got a lot of health points. A lot of health, this guy. Let's just start smacking him. 124 damage on a critical hit. Oh yeah. That is our new weapon. That is the Roman Axe. This guy just can't stand against it. Not against the Roman Axe. Oh, he could actually try and shove me, but he's not going to. And I'll just smack him. 93 damage. And uh, you're dead. Goodbye, good sir. I like my new weapon. I like, I like this weapon. First of all, it looks kind of cool, you know. 
It's like a curvy chopper. And, um, yeah. <laughs> we got a curvy chopper. I lost a strength point. It's a good thing that I... Already bought the items I need, so sod that. Alright, we have got uh, Sir, Sir, Sir Sebastian Fleetfoot here, who has already taken a critical hit. He has got a damn good pompadour, and he's dead in less than five rounds. The pomp didn't help him. The fact that he's pompous certainly didn't help him. Right, moving on. We gained some experience points. Very nice. 43 experience points. It's pretty good. So, Abacus Longshanks. Well, good health. Our health is low, I've noticed. Then again, we do have really good armor, so... Swings and roundabouts, I guess. Alright. So we're just taking this guy on. Doing 61 damage. Go! Unless critical hit, then it's 122. One more of those, and he's dead. He's dead. He's dead and done for. He's dead and done for. Anyway, three stars, one for that. And we are getting a nice amount of gold as well. Very nice. Alright, more battling. Pack, we help. We packed the tent for a group of traveling insane and got nothing for it. Well, I ain't helping you guys out anymore. Sir Peter Armstrong, your second week is status strength. Armstrong is probably not the right surname for you. And apparently, he's going to send us to the abyss. Not with nine armor, you're not. Not with nine armor, you're not. You're using elixirs of vitality. I'm not sure how good that's going to help you. Oh, my attack chance is halved. How dare you! That's what you get for being a double team or sand attack sod. You, you get that. Oh. You're a v evasive git. Alright. Uh, it's twilight. Find a place to sleep. I need to go to sleep because I'm bone tired. Uh, I shall go to my room. But first, I'll play a game of Magic Cups. Fun. Ooh, a potion. Is that a potion of strength? If that's the case, I want that. Okay. Ooh, it's getting faster. Don't blink. It's there. Ooh, an elixir of strength! I was correct! Oh no, it's not! Temporary increase your strength by 50% for 10 turns! Goodbye, jumping jacks! We've got now the elixir of strength. That could be useful later on. That could really be useful. I'm guessing all these horses do the same thing, I guess. I guess. So I'm not going to bother with them. Oh yeah, I can buy entourages, can't I? Okay. We've already got an abbot. Spoiled princess. While the spoiled princess is in your entourage, you will earn two stars at the start of every day. That means I've got to keep her around for 125 days for her to pay off. The baker. He will make you a delicious breakfast each morning. Okay, cool. That's pretty good. The bear. will give you a chance of fish. Hmm. The baker might not be a bad one to have, actually. I mean, he's certainly tucking into his own bread there, so there you go. Joe, uh, let's get the spoiled princess. This may be a massive mistake. Goodbye, the bard. Hello, this spoiled bitch. All right, let's go to our room. We should be able to get two stars for, the, for this. Very nice. I dream of electric sheep. So apparently I'm a robot, because we know only robots deal with a, a deal, uh, sleep and dream of electric sheep. We'll venture on, and apparently I didn't get to, I didn't get stars for that. Did I really not? The start of every day. Well, the, the day has began! Come on! Work your magic, for God's sakes. And we got some food. There you go, I think I made the right choice. At least for the moment I did. Sir Arthur Clark. Oh God, why is it with all these health guys? Nothing but health guys! He's got 500, he's got 410 health. That's a lot of health points. A lot of health for that guy. There you have that. I'll use my elixir of strength! Now I have more uh, power. Which I'm not using because I keep missing. There you go, Grievous hit! 210 damage. 70 damage. And death! I like the elixir of strength, you know. It could be a nice beginning to go for, you know, before I go for an attack. Might be nice. Anyway, with that, we have leveled up. Level 16, we are now Realm Knight Bannert. 
New battle skill uh, in unlocked the Rainmaker. Powerful range attack that has 90% chance of hitting. Could only be used when your stamina is at least three quarters full. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, definitely need vitality because <laughs> my strength is so low, or because my health is so low. Anyway, a quest. You find yourself lone uh, in a lonely desert in the early evening. Dunes as far as the eye can see. A great stone sphinx before you. Carved into its chest is a riddle. I walk on four legs in the morning, two legs in the middle of the day, and three legs in the evening. What am I? I know that I know that riddle anyway. The, the answer is a human being. Because it shows life. So four legs in the morning would be the start of your birth. You're crawling as a baby. Two legs in the middle of the day. That's your sort of like a teenagehood and adulthood. And, th and the evening, the end of your life, walking stick. So, three. So, yeah, shout my answer. You're a man, you shout. In the morning, you're a baby crawling. In the middle of the day, you walk tall. And in the evening, you walk hunched with the aid of a walking stick. I, I, I absolutely called it. The Sphinx remains silent. But at that instant, a gust of wind whips through the area. You shield your eyes. And when you open them, you, f you see a finely crafted Ankh amulet. Lying in the sand beneath the Sphinx's paws. We have uh, we have received the Ankh amulet, which I'm fairly certain is probably going to have to do something to do with death. Maybe you have a chance of... Maybe it's second wind, like you got in Swords and Sounds 5? Who knows? Let's find out, shall we? Alright. Increase your wits by 10% while worn. Oh, I used my elixir! Damn. Okay. Well, I'll use the Ankh then. So that's going to increase my wits by... One at the moment, but that will change. All right, do we have enough time to do a tournament? We probably do. Tournament number five, love the king. We do love the king. Let's move on to our next opposition. Sons of Scotland. Uh, entry costs 25 stars. Victory prize is 50 stars. I hope I've got enough stars. I do. Good. Let me guess. It's William Wallace. Yep. Scotland. Like, what's the first thing that comes in your mind when it comes to Scotland and war? It's William Wallace, right? Or Mel Gibson, depending on if you know history or just watch movies. The sound of bag bagpipes filled the air as some stereotypes arrive in town on their way to battle the English. It's not the first time it's happened and it will not be the last either. Kind of mortal enemies, really, at this point. I got so many Scottish subscribers as well, so they know it's true. God, they know it. We try to get independence from us for years. Seriously, they should. <laughs> We'd all be a lot happier. They wouldn't have to deal with us. We wouldn't have to deal with them. It's great. With them, they bring fine whiskey, strong ale, and stronger nights. No cabers, though. None of those. Or haggis. None of that. Most famous amongst them, Sir William Wallace has uh, charitably agreed to fight in a tournament. You can hardly wait to face him. Tales of his exploits have become legend around these parts. Can't. So, it's essentially, can I draw and quarter William Wallace just to make history correct? That's what I want to know. Anyway, six fights before William Wallace. We've got uh, Sir Zachariah Chapman, our first opponent. He's got 11 wits. So have we, I think. I think we've probably got 12, actually, with that amulet. Let's go for a power shot. Power shot! I dodged your attack and uh, dealt a lot of damage. Is that, that moon, that, is that moon drooling as well? I'm starting to think that that moon is drooling. The hell, moon. All right, so immediately we're kicking off with, some, with, a, with a critical hit there. Very nice. And 61 more damage. You decide to do that. That was dumb of you. You, you just tried to headbutt me. Who do you think you are, Zinedine Zidane? Stop it. All right. Three stars, one. A lot of gold. A lot of gold. A lot of gold. Alright. Five more fights to battle Sir William of Wallace. I have fought you already, I'm fairly certain. You have great strength, but that's about it. You're essentially a man with all strength and no wit. And nothing of anything else either. You used a Saturn shell, and I was immune because I believe... This is the best thing I've ever had, is this amulet that uh, blocks fireworks, or it makes me immune to fireworks completely. 
Like, seriously, what a great item to have right at the start of the game is that? You need to thunk it. Right, coup de fart! You're dead! Haha! <laughs> dead by flatulence is the best thing. Lord Ugg would be proud. Very proud. Alright, next. Four fights before we battle Braveheart. Sir Eberto Valentinus, I fought you already as well, mate. Why are these guys living? Also, there could only be one Afro guy here and it's not you. Oh my god, that's 310 damage. How the hell did you do 310 damage? Bloody hell, this guy's out for this this guy's out for revenge! Who are you? The armorer's son or something? Your afro pales in comparison to mine! It does. Is damage. I missed. You just get me with little shots. You're, you're not gonna win like that. You have been disarmed. I win. You fly through the air like the Power Rangers when they get hit and the sparks go everywhere. Do you remember that? Jeez, what bad acting. Anyway, great show, but that was bad. Anyway, three fights until Sir William Wallace. We're getting there. I fought you as well, Hamburger Man. I believe we mentioned you. Alright, let's move on. And... Power shot! There you go, knocked right off his horse. Right off his horse. I love the way we go. <laughs> Do you know what I love? I love the change in scenery. I like the way that we go from, Do you know what? let's joust on this field. And then right after that, it's like, right, now we're in a ran now we're just gonna walk to the random dungeon. I wonder what they spoke about before they got to the dungeon. So like, so just see Hollyoaks today. Can't believe that insert name of character would cheat on insert name of character. And for someone who watches Hollyoaks, they'll know that I haven't narrowed down the episode much. It could be literally any of them. Right, two fights to William Wallace. Oh no, it's not. I, I, I watch Hollyoaks since I'm a teen, so yep. Yeah. Probably about 11 years ago. Anyway, Sir Gerard Lambert. I fought you as well. So many people I have fought. It's like, they're back for round two! And they're just gonna get owned because he's kind of stronger now. All right, Gerard Lab. Yeah, I definitely remember that hair. He does not look very confident in skills. And I concur. You are not confident in your skills. Because you don't have any skills. 3,116 gold there. Five more stars for moi. One more fight before I take on Sir William Wallace. Ah, Sir Fernand of Jerusalem. He's got some decent... He's got some good health on him, that guy. He is a beefy man. He's a big boy. And he missed me. I'm going to cut him down to size. Oh my... That hair, though. That hair. That, that is interesting. I mean, what's that? A front man bun you've got there, mate. I think that's probably what you've got. It is a front man bun. I wish I was your barber and I'm going to try and chop it off. I do have an axe, so I could, but no. I'd much rather just kill you for having that hairstyle. <laughs> right. This is coming from a bloke that's had really, really long hair, like halfway down my back at one point. And a mullet. So, not really much to say. Well, I'm not really one to say, am I? Right. William Wallace, the Scottish Patriot, who for some reason has completely blued up. Which he's not supposed to. I thought half his face is supposed to be blue. Not the entire thing, right? Surely. This is the first case of blue face I think I've ever seen. Anyway, he's got good vitality, but he kind of sucks in every other stat. I'm going to look forward to this. He's got good armor on him, though, so fair play. And he's immediately trying a Roman candle. Dude, you're Scottish. Why would you even bother with Roman stuff? Stop, stop with the ca- This necklace is amazing. I'd have taken probably a decent amount of damage there, and I'm still going to be taking a decent amount of damage. But no, that this weapon, or well this 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 item is brilliant. Let me just say that that this this necklace. I am never taking this necklace off because it seems like fireworks are used a lot in this game. So good for me to get this early, isn't it? There you go, and goodbye, Sir William Wallace. You die with some of your armor on. Good job. 
There's something about, like, a wonky helmet with one white eye. That's just interesting, I guess. Anyway, we have completed Tournament 5 and defeated William Wallace. Wallace fought for the freedom of his people many times throughout the years. It worked the uh, Battle of Stirling Bridge in 1297, where he defeated a vast English army. Years of guerrilla war later, he was betrayed by kinsmen and captured by his nemesis, King Edward Longshanks I of England. Sir William was hung, drawn and quartered in 1305. His death was not in vain. He became a national hero and inspired others to free Scotland. Well, he inspired 49% of Scotland to free Scotland. Not enough, though, I'm afraid. Seriously, 2% of you. Go help him. Honestly, because even I, even I am sympathetic towards Scotland when it comes to... Who wants to be part of the UK, let's be honest? Hey, I'm English. We've got no chance of leaving the UK. What chance have we got? Anyway, we, we could barely leave the EU. Anyway, uh, we got 1,300 and... Oh, 13,750 gold there. And 50 stars. And we leveled up to level 17. We are now Realm Knight Elite. And we have got a new battle skill. Cleave. This powerful melee attack has 90% chance of hitting, but also does great damage to you each time you perform it. So it's a risky move, but if you're a tank, you might be able to get away with it. Cool. Okay, well let's get... Uh, okay, let, let, let's get some wit. And I'll put my uh, agility back up to 18. Alright, quest time. Let's do a quest and then we'll go for a break, I believe. In a nearby town, you come across a broken cart. A merchant stands helplessly. His goods scattered on the dirt ground. A crowd of people have gathered around to gawk at his obvious struggles. Do you steal something or wander off nonchalantly or help the merchant repair his cart? I will help him repair his cart because I'm a nice person to merchants. Definitely armourers. Very nice to armourers. I'm not. You spend some time repairing the cart. Although mildly grateful, the merchant refuses to compensate you for your time, and you fix him with a steely gaze before moving down the road. My luck has been decreased by 10. This is exactly why I steal stuff! This is exactly why I steal stuff! Alright, with that... Yes! We got some trees! We got some trees! That's all we need. We got trees. Now we have foliage. We've got... Trees. Yes, look at this fireworks display of being able to grow trees. Imagine, imagine if that was the case in, like, in real life. My god, I have been able to plant one tree while cutting down about ten. Fireworks display, and one of those fireworks is goes rogue and burns another couple of trees down. But still, let's celebrate that one tree. Anyway, without the way, folks, I'm going to go for a break here as we uh, are going to be leveling up for uh, the sixth tournament that we're going to be in. Love the king. Love the king indeed. And I will uh, see you for the next episode of Let's Play Swords and Sandals Medieval, where we do some more battling, more leveling up, and probably more stealing of stuff. I'll see you then.